Good morning. Welcome to the Path of Wildness Meditation for uh, July 28th, 2016. Path of Wildness is a uh, walk of equanimity, a balanced movement through life, uh, keeping in mind uh, three objectives and seven principles. If we can facilitate this, then life can uh, be passed with, uh, not be passed, life can be undertaken, enjoyed with uh, uh, greater control and uh, purpose and close, more closely aligned with uh, our personal nature and goals which will be the mo most fulfilling for us and, the, and uh, provide the best results for our society. Hmm, that's a new part I just added in, kind of summary of what you get walking the path of wildness. I might need to add that in on a, on a daily basis because I do this every day. The three uh, objectives. One is to develop and maintain good, solid principles based on reason. Two, to uh, cultivate good emotional reactions to the circumstances of life. To not let our emotions run away, which is a form of consumption or is a form of, uh, form of uh, indulgence. Three, to uh, perform good actions over the course of our life defined by uh, the uh, principles that we develop and towards the uh, objective of reason. So, the, so this is the principle of reason. So those are the three objectives and now the seven principles. The uh, first is the atomic principle which states that uh, the world is uh, nothing more than bits and pieces flowing and changing. What was yesterday is something else today and will change again tomorrow. Keeping that in mind, we are not surprised when change occurs and uh, we're not uh, ambushed by the fact of our death or the occurrence when it happens. Although it probably will ambush us, but the, uh, the fact of it won't. <laughs> we won't be able to think about it. Hmm. I guess it would matter in the, in, the, in the days and moments leading up to it if we knew it was happening when our health begins to fail and the like. And it also uh, musters us to uh, more deliberate action during the time that we're still healthy and alive. Two. The uh, principle of uh, reason, sorry, sorry, the principle of, uh, of nature. Uh, individuals have a particular nature, so does everything. And uh, our best lives are lived when we can recognize what human nature is and uh, live in accordance with that. Human nature is basically the uh, propensity to use our naturally evolved endowments, our big brains, to, uh, to understand the world, to solve problems and make the world a better place. We also have our own individual uh, nature, things about us that uh, are peculiar to us through our nature and nurture, the way we were raised and our genetic disposition perhaps. And when we can understand what that is and live in accordance with that, then we'll also enjoy a better life. For me, my nature is to walk alone in wild places and think. And uh, that is the pinnacle of my living when I do that. Of course, I've got to do this other stuff too, but that's the best, that's the highest aim. And the uh, result that comes of that is, is, is like the fruit that, that uh, you know, grows on the, grows, grows from my life. Third is the, uh, I'm sorry, the third is the principle of uh, social, social principle. Humans are social animals. We need one another to live. Uh, we, our best ends are social ends. Uh, if we can uh, strive towards helping one another, then we're doing a good thing. Lots of virtue to be found in that. So, uh, social ends need to uh, uh, be uh, um, need to be pursued while being mindful of human rights. So it's good to have a, a set of value, a set of a set of uh, a definition of what human rights are. And currently, I'm using. Uh, the American Bill of Rights as my uh, definition, although I would like to explore that more and develop it more fully myself. Because if we uh, just pursue social ends, you know, the greatest good for the mo largest number of people, we find sometimes that we're in positions where we might compromise individual rights for that end. So it's every good uh, nation or system of politi pol uh, pol a political situation recognizes the need to identify and protect individual rights while in the pursuit of the common good. That's a social principle. The next is the principle of temperance, the ability to uh, control our appetites, more, more importantly, to control our how we act upon our appetites for food, drink, work, play, 
sex, sleep, whatever it may be. Indulging in these things uh, to excess is uh, um, is a short <laughs> is a shortcut to excess. It's a shortcut to uh, to uh, giving giving in and letting our emotions lead us, rather than leading our emotions, which is one one of the goals of life. Of the path of wildness is to, uh, to to not necessarily control necessarily, but yeah, in a way to control not to control our emotions because that's hard to do, but control our reactions to our emotions. So when I feel that need to, to drink another beer, more, one more beer than I know I need to, I should, you know, to be able to control how I respond to that. I'll still feel like I want it, but you know what I mean, in order to, uh, to, to overeat or too much exercise or work or whatever the case may be. So temperance is, is the exercise of uh, self-control um, uh, against the, uh, the, the uh, passions, which is kind of what it is. You have this pre-passion, this immediate rise of wanting, and what you do with that, if you execute upon that, if you run away with it, then that's the passion. So you want to, it doesn't mean you can't live without passion, but you want to, uh, you don't want to let the passions lead you. You uh, can maintain control of the passions. The next is the principle of that's, that's uh, temperance, very valuable uh, asset and uh, virtue. The next is the uh, principle of uh, indifference, the world, the great indifference as I call it. Basically that states that the uh, universe doesn't really care about us. We're uh, on our own for the most part. Um, God, all God is one another, maybe our pets. There's no uh, God, there's no evidence, there's no good evidence of any God or deity or beings of any sort that really care about us. All we've really got is uh, uh, each other. The next is the principle of reason, which is the governing faculty, the way that we uh, make sense of the world around us. The uh, it's a process by which we observe the facts of the world, we collect facts, things that are, are true, assemble those into uh, premises about the world, which form arguments that lead to conclusions. That if those conclusions can, can uh, help us to make accurate you know, predictions that accurately uh, describe the world, then we've got a little bit of a system, a tool, that's a worthwhile one. And we hold on to that tentatively, never, uh, never, never applying the term absolute to any uh, argument but to uh, to constantly be reevaluating it and uh, but when it when it proves to be uh, worthwhile then to use it to help us understand the world and live our lives better that's the process of reason and uh, that's why uh, the Stoics called it the governing faculty at least Marcus Aurelius did I like that term the next principle is the principle of virtue which is uh, the purpose of life and virtue is nothing more than the result of a life lived with an understanding that we're bits and pieces flowing and changing, and temporary in uh, our existence here, that we uh, have a particular nature and that our best lives are lived in accordance with that nature, whenever possible, that we are social animals and that uh, we do best by pursuing social ends, not exclusively, but as much as possible. The temperance is a virtue, is a shortcut to virtue, that uh, we, uh, we uh, immediately, virtue is immediately realized when we exercise self-control and uh, lost the, uh, the moment that we give in. Not so much lost, not, not so much that we're being non-virtuous, but we're being uh, uh, more base and more animalistic, is that, is that the right word? Just kind of giving in? When we have a we have a higher capability in exercising self-control, and that uh, virtue uh, is also uh, realized in recognizing that we live in a world that is indifferent to our existence. Here's apparently so that there's no evidence that that's not the case, and that uh, we should seek each other and uh, for comfort, solace, and uh, uh, reassurance, companionship and to work together to develop uh, the, the good principles that are the foundation of uh, good living. And uh, finally, that reason is the arbiter of truth. That uh, when, in, when in doubt, look to the, when, you, when someone offers you a conclusion that seems questionable, simply uh, ask after their, their reason. Ask them to explain the reasoning behind it. What facts are they using to develop them? 
conclusion? What premises? What uh, what are the building blocks of the argument of the argument that they want to put together? And if that argument proves sound and they make a good case for it, then you know test it yourself and maybe adopt it. And if not, then uh, dismiss it and spend some time explaining why you've dismissed it to help uh, others understand your reasons. And there you go. That's the path of wildness uh, meditation for uh, this day. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.